What's going on? Meteorologist Stephen Darrow here. We've got an update for you as we go into the afternoon. We are expecting those strong to severe thunderstorms to roll in tonight. New information from the National Weather Service has a severe thunderstorm watch issued out towards I-95, closer to Emporia and Richmond, but it does include James City County, uh, Surrey, and Southampton in parts of Virginia. This will likely be extended over the south side as we head through the rest of our afternoon. The watch goes until about 10 o'clock, so that tells us us that the timing is in agreement that uh, we may not see these thunderstorms roll into uh, the metro or the heart of Hampton Roads until about 10, 11 p.m. So late tonight is when these thunderstorms roll in. We've kind of had a thin veil of cloud coverage uh, blanket the region, and it really helped uh, prevent the atmosphere from really heating up over top of us. Granted, it's still hot and humid, but we didn't get a lot of that sunshine to help bubble up those clouds and help develop any thunderstorm ahead of the main event. Uh, we just look at the satellite picture here, and this is the cloud coverage I'm talking about. Looking outside right now, it's kind of grayish and, and almost a little gloomy. That's preventing and capping our temperatures, but there's clearing off towards the west. That's where that severe thunderstorm watch is issued. All of this sunshine, Farmville, Charlottesville, Richmond, uh, Emporia, uh, that's where we'll see the thunderstorms develop over the next few hours, and in doing so, they will then come screaming into Hampton Roads later on tonight. It is still hot and humid, though heat index values are still in the low to mid 90s at portions today when the sun was out it felt close to 100 degrees and once we get rid of those thin to high level clouds uh, uh, for the next few hours and the sun does come out putting that over top of this humidity will likely crank back those crank those temperatures back up and it may feel close to 100 degrees for an hour or two before sunset dew points in the low 70s just a whole lot of moisture in the air a whole lot of water in the air uh, making it readily available to produce those thunderstorms thunderstorms fuel so to speak and they will come rolling in right around sunset and then thereafter into the late night and they'll likely be strong to severe. So high res future track has seven o'clock thunderstorms out towards I-95, nine o'clock moving into parts of the region, 10, 11 making their way into downtown and then around midnight or so is when the thunderstorms will be drifting likely offshore. So after midnight, things settle down. So brief window tonight when we'll crank up the wind, likely going to see some damaging wind gusts. That's something we'll watch out for. Uh, heavy rain, of course, going to cause some flooding in low-lying areas when we could pick up an additional one to two inches of rainfall. Uh, there is a threat for hail as well with these thunderstorms. And while the tornadic threat is low, it's still there. So kind of everything is on 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 up for grab, so to speak, with this event. Uh, and that main event, that main storm window between about like 7 and 11 p.m., maybe even between about 8 and 11 p.m., so later on tonight, right after sunset. So the sunset storms taper off by the overnight. Temperatures will hold in the low 70s. Moving into Tuesday, part of the system that's helping to kickstart these thunderstorms tonight is a cool front. That cool front doesn't move in tonight, though. It moves in Tuesday, slowly drifting into the region. That'll help fire up some additional downpours Tuesday afternoon. Nowhere near as many as what we'll deal with tonight and nowhere near as intense as what we'll deal with tonight. But some summer downpours and a few thunderstorms in the forecast for tomorrow afternoon after temperatures get to the mid to upper 80s. So future track has those thunderstorms developing off towards the west around 9, 95, 7, 8 o'clock. They come screaming into Hampton Roads, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. And then after midnight, they fade offshore. We see a bright sunrise on Tuesday. Lots of sunshine, southwesterly winds wind brings us into the mid to upper 80s humid feeling like summer and then by the afternoon and evening we'll have some scattered downpours around town some of which could have some heavy rain a couple rumbles of thunder so that's something we'll look out for more sunshine moving into the uh, mid to late week time frame and on wednesday and thursday i want to highlight the fact that we're going to have a lower humidity and it's going to feel a little bit on the comfortable side moving into wednesday and thursday so that's some good stuff but for tonight be sure to stay weather aware we'll have updates all uh for the rest of the evening with uh, meteorologist Don Slater and Chief Meteorologist Jeff Edmondson. They're in the house and they will update uh, you guys as conditions warrant.